super Earths are common in the Milky Way. Astronomers have determined that rocky planets larger than Earth, but smaller than Neptune, orbiting far from its star's orbits, can be much more common in the Milky Way than previously thought. According to them, in every third planetary system around the stars in our galaxy it is called the cold super-Earth. Researchers from the observatory participated in the Research Astronomical University of Warsaw. The solar system is composed of four small, rocky the inner planets Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, and the four large ones, exterior gaseous planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Both groups of planets it separates the main asteroid belt between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. Behind Neptune orbits many smaller and larger rocks with several planets dwarf, like Pluto. However, there is one kind of planet that is in the outer solar system does not occur. It's called super-Earths, planets scale larger than Earth, but smaller than Neptune. Recent studies which they appeared in the journal Science suggest that this type of planet is much more common in other systems than previously thought. So far, nearly 6,000 have been discovered and confirmed the extrasolar planets. A lot of them are super-Earths. A lot of them it is located in the outer regions of its planetary systems it is called. It's a cold super -tsy. This shows that our solar system is not standard among the planetary systems. In their work, scientists used the phenomenon of MICR lensing it's a gravitational. Gravity distorts space-time. The denser the object, the its gravity is stronger. Very dense objects in such large the degree distorts space-time that they give a lens-like effect by magnifying and distorting the light source behind it. The phenomenon MICR lensing occurs when light from a distant source is bent by closer object called a lens. The mass of the lens curves the space around it, what causes the bending of light rays, as a result of which can be observed brightening the source. In other words, gravitational MICR lensing occurs when the gravity of objects bends and amplifies light from distant stars when the radiation source is on one line, the object lentilizer and observer on Earth. If the lens is a star, the brightening lasts from a few to even about a hundred days, and if the lens is planet from a few hours to a few days. MICR lensing is particularly effective for finding distant, small planets. Planets are detected by different techniques, but they all have some limitations. The easiest way to detect a large planet in orbit close to his star. For this reason, among the discovered and confirmed the most planets are those that orbit close to their star. In this group super-Earths are especially numerous. In 2016, researchers came across the phenomenon of lensing classified as OGLE 2016 BLG 0007. This allowed to discover a planet with mass comparable to Earth at a distance of 1.5 billion kilometers from its star the parent. This is further than Saturn's orbit in the solar system. This world, he orbits his star every 40 years. This is a typical very low-mass super-Earth circulating in orbit similar to that of Saturn in our planetary system. The new the record holder in this area, said Professor Andrei Hudelsky, quoted in communication of the Astronomical Observatory of the University of Warsaw. Professor Hudelsky has been managing the OGLE, Optical Gravitational Lensing Experiment, project for years. OGLE is a review of the sky conducted since 1992 by astronomers from the University of Warsaw. It is one of the largest and oldest photometrics reviews of the sky. 2016 discovery prompted astronomers to think about what are the chances of finding super-Earths from such a distance the parent stars? 
Data from other MICR Rollinsing phenomena suggest that one superinter in a distant orbit is 0.35 stars. By the phone an estimated 100 billion stars in the Milky Way could be 35 billion super-Earth on the outer edges of many star systems.